Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malkwe of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And uh, I am on a Christmas roll. There is many varied thoughts about Christmas and the principles that Christmas holds for us. Like I always say, Christmas is not just an event for me, but Christmas is a principle field event. There are many principles, there are many nuggets of gold, applicative truths that we can take from Christmas and learn from it and also encourage our lives and be, let it be part of our everyday lifestyles. And for me, that's what matters most. Today, i like to, to caption what I'm going to teach called stinking Genesis. Do you remember in Luke chapter 2, verse 7, the Bible says there was no room at the inn for the birth of Jesus. God, Emmanuel with us, coming into the affairs of men, coming to be a blessing to men, and there was no space. I'm very intrigued. And I'm very, very, very positively intrigued by what's going on here. Here's the thing. God was then Jesus being born. He was born in a manger. And guess what's at the manger? There were goats. There were sheep. There was grass. The grass is the place where they put the, the, the middle of the goats and, the, you know, and then they pull away from there. That is like a storage place. And then later on they throw it on the ground. Wherever there are goats, you can imagine. Wherever there are sheep, they are not like human beings who take care of their uh, a scripture properly, forgive the language, but that's what it is. But they would just sp spray it anywhere at all. So you can imagine that particular inn stinking, or that, that particular manger stinking of goats and lamb and uh, sheep and all those other things. And right there, lying in the manger, is, is a baby. Lying there is a baby. In that kind of environment, in that kind of this thing. But you know what? That was God on earth. God with us, Emmanuel, lying over there in a stinking environment. You know what matters most? It doesn't matter where you were born. It doesn't matter your beginnings. Sometimes the beginnings may be rough. What matters is where God is taking you. That baby lying there in a manger is going to be the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, sitting on the right hand of God. At the mention of his name, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. Look at where he began. So sometimes, do not despise small beginnings. And sometimes our beginnings may not be, the genesis of our, of our purpose may not be the best. The genesis of uh, uh, Joseph's purpose was painful, but his end was glorious. His end was filled, his, his, the beginning was filled with pain, but the end was, I mean, glamorized with pomp and pageantry. So sometimes the beginning may be, may, may, may be rough, but it is the end. Better is the end of a matter than its beginning. Our start may not be the best, but our end. So I, 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 in Living Streams, we have a song we sing. See, our strength, his grace. Our rule, his word. Our end, the glory of God. Sometimes the way we start, the challenges, the issues, and all the pain and all the frustrations and all the, the depressions and the discouragement and all the things that go on that frustrate us, that makes us a laughing stock in the, in the midst of people. It is not, listen, you dare not give up. You get it? For when God came here, he was lying in a stinking major. His genesis was a stinking genesis, but his end was a glorious end. So sometimes, it, look, it doesn't matter how you started or where you started from. You know, uh, the, the village or wherever you are coming from. The beginning may be rough. The beginning may not be the best. The beginning may be tearful. The beginning may be uh, woeful. The beginning may be discouraging and depressing. But the end is what we look for. You know, keep your eye on the end. Keep your eye on the ball. Because the beginning, ah, you know what? Do not despise. God said it. He said, do not despise small beginnings. So today, the small boy you see today, tomorrow... May be the person you will never, never, you, you, would even, you would even pay money to shake the person's hand. You, you would even scramble to shake the person's hand. If people knew that the king of glory was the one lying in a stinking manger, 
I'm sure they would have done something very powerful. But guess what? Sometimes our genesis may stink, but it doesn't determine our end. So you know what? Lift your eyes above the present and look to what God wants to do. The challenges, the pain, the tears, rise above it and keep your eye on what is coming tomorrow. Stinking Genesis, I know the final say so of your purpose and destiny. See you later.